Today we're going to talk about two items that I got at a pilot truck stop that might be um, essential for your cold weather gear in your Jeep. So the first is going to be this um, Motormedic de-icer. This thing says you can, uh, it melts ice instantly on locks, windshield wipers, and windows. And then the next thing we've got is this uh, ice alert, a Rode Pro ice alert, indoor outdoor thermometer. We'll talk a little bit about that. So first let's do the de-icer. So let's say you don't have an ice scraper and you don't really want to spray uh, hot water on your windshield because it would crack. So you can take this de-icer and you can spray it on your, your windshield wiper blades and that will loosen them up. You can even hear it loosening it up. I don't know if you can hear that. but <laughs> And of course to get in your vehicle you need to spray your locks. And to make your windows go down you can spray it like that. And of course, you want to spray that to clear the ice off of that. So this stuff's really cool. All right, let's see how this de-icer works on this frozen door lock. It was hard to open. Oh, okay. If you've got a Jeep XJ, then chances are you do not have one of those fancy overhead consoles, although some did, but uh, if you had an overhead console, you would have an indoor and outdoor thermometer. And on a cold day like today, it comes in handy to let you know how to prepare for when you exit the XJ. So that's why I bought these two products. Well, who'd have ever thought I would have utilized these snow rated tires down here where I'm at? So I took a quick ride by the truck stop and I got this de icer for auto and trucks. It's good to spray in your locks and doors if it like ices up. I'm sure they don't sell too much of this around here, but we need it today. And another thing I got was this um, ice alert thermometer. And I was looking for an indoor outdoor thermometer for the XJ and they had this one uh, it's battery operated uh, I don't know how long it'll last but it's got a little probe for outdoor and indoor it runs off a double I mean a triple A battery but it also lets you know if they have black ice alert so we're gonna install this and see what happens and as you can see it's very very uncharacteristically cold here now in my last video you would see my uh, use of the antifreeze for your windshield washer fluid and this is exactly why <laughs> see it is it still comes out uh, I know it's hard to see on here but it is still still squirting <laughs> So this ice alert has, um, it's got a clock on it. It's got uh, some type of warning system for black ice. Uh, and there you go, um, minimum and maximum temperatures. It does have a 10 foot cable. So this is what it looks like. Uh, I do not like the display. It's kind of hard to see. You kind of have to turn it. But uh, so right now, 65.5, that's inside here with the heater. And you see you have to flip the little switch there. It doesn't show the inside and outside temperature at the same time. So I'm going to run this outside and see what the outside temperature is. The outside temperature sensor has the word sensor on it and a little sticky thing. But I'm just going to let it go out the window for right now. So I ran the temperature just right outside the window. And it is slowly falling. So let's see what it gets to. We're approaching freezing. 
but it's sitting on right on top of the uh, vehicle so it might be warmed up a little bit and the ice alert feature when this thing falls when the temperature falls between 37 and 30 degrees according to the owner's manual here these start to flash every minute which we are in those specifications so um it's kind of strange it says between 37 and 30 degrees it starts to flash so i guess that lets the driver know that there could be ice on the road but when it gets below 30 degrees <clears throat> does it fly <coughs> excuse me does it flash i don't know it doesn't say that but um so it is an interesting little gadget so thanks for watching out there stay warm this is the cold as uh, i can ever remember it down in the deep south so uh, have a great evening.